Hi guys, it's Nikki and today I'm back with another video. So today I am doing a get ready with me video, kind of a recent makeup tutorial. This is just a look I've been doing a lot lately and I figured I should show you guys because why not? Let's just get on into the video. So the first things I'm going to start off with is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this Herborian Glow Primer and these are my favorite primers right now. They're so amazing. So I'm just kind of dotting this on my face and then rubbing it in to just rub it all over my face where I need it. With the glow cream, I'm just going to be putting that in the high points of my face. So I'm just basically going to be putting it where I'm highlighting. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids and just blend it in with my finger. Now I'm going to be using my Alme Concealer and I'm just going to put this on my blemishes just to kind of get rid of the appearance of them. And I'm just going to blend that out with my fingers. Next up is the brows and I'm going to be using this IT Cosmetics Brow Powder in Universal Taupe and this is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils and I, I really love this. It matches my eyebrow shade so perfectly and it's really easy to use so I really like this. Now I'm going to use this Treasured Beauty 212 brush and I'm just going to outline my brows with some foundation so that they just look clean, just a lot neater and they'll just look a lot better, so yeah. To blend it out, I just use a wet beauty blender or a big fluffy brush from Icing. I'm gonna use this Ico Skinny Liquid Liner in black and I love this liner. It's so good. I got it from my Ipsy bag. It's so amazing. I'm obsessed. For my first eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Bamboo Bronzer from Cartier London and I love this. This also came in my Ipsy bag. I'm just going to use this angled crease brush from Sephora collection. I'm using this brush so that I can kind of make a cut crease with my eyeshadow because my eye shape is kind of more circular so it tends to go for more that shape but when I use this brush it kind of leads me in the direction of getting a more cut look. I'm going to use this ColourPop Press Shadow in shade Ringer and I'm just going to be using this flat brush. I'm going to use this eyeshadow that I got from Treasured Beauty Co. and this is a B Bella Beauty eyeshadow and it's in the shade Rusty Shines. Now I'm going to use this ColourPop Press Shadow in Wake Up Call. And I'm just going to use this blending brush from the Sephora collection and just blend this into my crease.
And of course, I'm using my all-time favorite foundation, the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation. And I'm just going to drop this on my face and blend it with a wet blender. Now I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Stick and I'm going to be using the contour side just to contour my face. Where I contour is under my cheekbones and my forehead and that's just where I'm going to put it and then blend it with this brush that I got from Kohl's. For blush, I'm going to go in with this dandelion blush from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm going to use this Luxie blush brush. How I apply my blush is I smile and then apply it to the apples of my cheeks. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite bronzer, and this is the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer by Tarte Cosmetics, and I'm also just going to be using this Elisa Frank, it's an angled brush, and I got this from my Ipsy bag, so I don't actually know where it's from, but this is an amazing brush, and the bronzer is absolutely gorgeous, it's my all-time favorite, I just, I love it so much. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It's the Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I'm going to be using the second highlighter down. And I love this shade. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to be using the Alexi Foundation Precision Brush. Now I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to be using the second highlighter on the palette and I'm just going to be setting my face with that. Now I'm going to take my ColourPop Press Shadow and Wake Up Call again and I'm just going to buff that under my lower lash line with this e.l.f. brush. For mascara, I'm going to be using this Tartiste mascara and I'm just going to be applying this on my lower lashes because I will be applying false eyelashes. For lashes, I'm going to be using my favorite lashes by Sumptuous Beauty. They are in the style Beijing. And I'm going to be using this lash glue that has aloe in it. It is by Kiss. For the lips, I'm going to be using this Hanalee Rose Lip Treatment. And this stuff is so amazing. I'm obsessed with it. And it's so moisturizing and it just looks so gorgeous. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. I love doing this look. It's very simple and easy and you can definitely make this into an everyday look. Empty streets to 
So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, if you guys like this kind of setup, then let me know because I will definitely do the setup more if you guys like it. I'm into it. So yeah, just let me know. And also, leave me some video requests, some videos you'd like to see from me. I really would love to do whatever you guys want me to do. I do a lot of fashion and beauty related videos, so if there are any other kind of video ideas that you have for me, please uh, let me know. Also, if you haven't already followed my social medias, they are all linked down below, so if you would do that, I will definitely follow you back. We can chat in the DMs if you want. I'm there. Yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.